Okay, here's... I just wanted to say this. This is a statement by Deep Saw. And I don't know who this Deep Saw person is, but they're really, really smart. Way smarter than me. But anyway, they wrote that compassion meant fill in the blanks. You can read what they wrote because it's really long. So look at it under pigeons created compassion. Now, this is a good example of something completely else. It has some, nothing to do with this. And this is my term for compassion came from Webster's Dictionary. That's where my definition of compassion came from. It came out of Webster's Dictionary, which the way I was raised, Webster's Dictionary is the, the go-to for what a word means. That's what a word means to in America, uh, as far as I know. Now, this is a, is a prime example of what happens with humans. I went to the book that says what words mean in English, right? And it said a certain thing, and I talked to that, that vibration of that. That's what compassion means to Americans. Now, Deep Saw has a completely different um, definition of what compassion means to them. Okay, I'm not arguing that there's anything wrong with that. The point here is that this is exactly what humans do. They have a limited amount of words to use, and they use them coming from their perspective or whatever happened to them in their lives. But it doesn't match, usually, anyone else. So they'll have a conversation with somebody else using these words. Not just compassion, I mean every word. Every single word. There is, they don't operate from the standpoint that these words um, are, are what Webster says. They twist the words into different meanings, but the person they're talking to is also twisted words into their own meanings, and there is no communication with words, none. Now, this worked really effectively to get the human race into third dimension because it led to all kinds of drama and trauma, and still does. Which is why I use telepathy almost nonstop. Now the problem is, even with telepathy, humans move so fast through their emotions that even telepathically it's hard to keep up with them. Because they do move. But looking through what someone is saying and trying to interpret how they interpret the words that are coming out of their mouths is very, very difficult. And there is one way that I have seen that works that is beautiful, and that is mirroring. And if I could get every single person to mirror every single thing they say to every single other human, uh, there would be a lot less trouble on this planet. But of course, they're not going to do that. But if you really want to get along with somebody, uh, do that. Mirror it back. Whatever it is they say to you, um, Go with a gut. If it feels like you're answering and it's there's a disconnect there, then say, wait a minute, what I heard you say was this. And what did you hear me say? See if you can promote it that way, and I'll bet you guys will get along a lot better. All right? It's just a little snippet there. No big deal. I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. Um, Patreon, PayPal, sessions, everything. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.